What's up guys, I'm Eric Lee and you're watching 31 and Counting. And if you're new to this channel, what we like to do is unboxing and product reviews. And today is no different. Today we're gonna talk about what I think is the most affordable storage for your gear. Check it out. So today we're gonna be checking out the Apache 3800. Uh, let's just get right into it and do the overhead so you can check out what's inside. What's up guys? Today we're going to be looking at the Apache 3800 Rugged Mobility Case. Uh, this can be used to store anything from weapons, electronics, and for me, I use this to store my camera gear, uh, mainly because I think, well, mainly because I want to protect my stuff, but also if I ever take it out, I feel like my stuff is going to be safe in here because this is solid plastic. <laughs> I know that's weird. It's like a yeah but it's solid it's, it's i think it can get the job done with protecting my stuff so far everything's been looking nice has been safe uh also this thing is waterproof dust proof and impact resistant that means if you drop your thing or, or this case that your gear should be safe inside should be i mean i'm i'm not gonna throw mine off a building that's another channel but uh if you know you just accidentally slip and drop it while unloading out a car you know that's I'm pretty sure your stuff's going to be safe or if it's getting handled by uh, TSA because, you know, those guys at the airport are pretty rough. I think your gear will be safe. Uh, also, it looks nice. I mean, just take a look at the design. This bad boy is awesome. So it comes with some features like this one. I think it's an air valve. Don't quote me on that. Also, you have your locks here and here. These are some huge latches with a little bit of that I, I don't know i like touching stuff uh, a little bit of that uh texture listen to that pop i mean it just it just sounds secure uh, also the handles are really big so if you have big hands like me it just feels comfortable and secure also it has this little design at the bottom it's going to help with like these are little feet these areas are raised a little higher uh so it also allows you know you know slide this around a little bit better i don't think you need to do any sliding around maybe me because you know i'm about that life but there's nothing needing to be slid i guess but you can do it if you want because they made it so you can so let's hear that good sound of that popping from the locks look at that i just love that sound so we're gonna look at my design that i have put together uh it's just it's simple i literally did this in like six seven minutes uh, but I just wanted to get my gear in here uh, because like I said if I'm traveling or anything like that I like the professional look this gives you for the affordable price. It just looks nice I think the only one that looked better uh, Was the orange version of this, but that was a little too flashy, you know, like if I leave my gear in my car uh, Orange kind of sticks out so somebody might break my window this isn't as as flashy and it kind of matches the interior of my vehicle uh the all black one was just too bland for me i just you know if i'm spending the money i just want it to look nice i don't know it's preference uh so you get to look at the inside of mine and we talk about some of the features and uh the material used so we're going to start right now with the top okay so this is how thick that foam is you know it's like egg crate it's an egg crate type material, kind of like uh, soundproofing. So I guess this is going to help with the impact, which, you know, so far, like I said, I think it gets the job done. Uh, and also, like I said, you see how you seen I could just take mine off. Um, that's not really an issue for me. I, I don't mind being able to take it off, but I'm sure if you didn't want this to come off, you can just hot glue it in there and you're good to go. Uh, also, if you can see right here, this is a gasket. It's gonna help with that waterproofing we were talking about a little earlier, uh, just to keep your gear safe in case, you know, you live in Texas like me and it floods every now and then. Uh, so this is my setup. Right here, you can see I'm a little messy with mine. Don't judge me. I got a few lens covers, a uh, little gear for the looms cube. Uh, backup mic uh but right here was where my mic normally goes uh when i'm not recording or using it at the time uh and this little spot and this little spot what i have is 
the nifty 50 and i have the vertex like uh adapter so i can use it on the canon m50 uh, but as you can tell how deep this is i mean you can store a lot deeper i'm, I'm able to stuff i'm also able to store my uh my 10 to 18 millimeter Canon lens in here. Uh, I have it on the camera right now, mainly because someone decided, uh, told me that I should use my wide lens to do the unboxing. Uh, I'm trying something different. Uh, so far, it's not let me down. This is the kit lens. Came with the M50, you know, small little lens. But that fits in there good. I have my backup light in here just in case I ever need to be somewhere and have a light that I can put in my pocket, use whenever I want to. And since this has a display, it just it just works out best. I know how much time I have, how much light I can use. Uh, my backup camera, which was the first camera I used for YouTube. Eh, I don't use it that much anymore because it's only 720p, but when you gotta shoot, you gotta shoot. And this is where my new camera, my Canon M50 goes, I guess it's it's not that new but it still gets the job done now this is the material that they use uh it's just a little square so you don't really need any tools you can rip these squares off with your hands really create regular uh shapes so for my big lenses that have the adapter to them you know this little adapter that goes on the the lens i created this kind of shape it's like a cross shape and I can just put the circle thing in there, it fits in perfect. Uh, for this lens, this is a little kit lens that did not need an adapter. I just created a square and this fits in there perfectly. So this is also broken into multiple little tear away parts. I guess I don't know the term for that, but you know what I mean. These kind of layers where you can really fit your uh, stuff perfectly. So this is one layer. You can see how thick this foam is. Then there's another layer. Look at that, rip that up with your hands too. And then there's this bottom layer, which is almost as thick, but this layer doesn't come out. This is part of basic packing, similar to this, it's supposed to help protect your, your stuff. So you don't get to play with that, but you can get very, very deep in here without, you know, needing to touch that bottom layer. So you have twice this thickness let's just fold it over yeah about that much thickness of you know gear you can put in here you can also play around with it a little bit more like like i said earlier mine's only took six minutes to put together it's not the best or the cleanest look but you know it gets the job done with the gear that i have or the stuff that i really need to carry with me a main camera a few lenses backup a light and a mic that's my easy to go setup uh, but more than anything, I just like the way it looks. I also love that sound. That's, I'm weird like that. That sound was cool. But I just like the way this looks. I mean, it looks professional. And uh, wait till you hear how much this costs. It's like, I, it blows my mind how much, you know, these other cases cost when they're just offering pretty much the same thing. So this Apache, I got this from a local store. I'm pretty sure all you guys have one. Uh, we'll talk about it a little bit later. I'm gonna go up top. So that's gonna be it. Yes, this is a checking out of the 3800 Apache. Uh, I really like this case. I think it's, I just look at it, man. It's cute. It's just, I, I don't wanna say sexy because, you know, some of you guys are young. Uh, but it's a very nice case. Now, I went for this case because, like I said, I love this like desert brown color. Uh, and, you know, I think this is a cool option instead of the, the orange. The orange looks really cool too. And if I'm just storing my, my camera gear at the house, orange is gonna be one that's just gonna really stick out. So see, I have my one camera set up over here. I can use that color. If I have another camera set up over there, that's like, you know, my more expensive camera or least expensive camera, just regular gear. I think having multiple colors is really cool. Uh, but I hadn't really brought up the price yet, have I? So for like $43, you can get this case. This is at Harbor Freight or you can buy it online uh, through Harbor Freight. It's always available. 
I've literally been there like 10 times to make sure that this doesn't sell out. Uh, the price did go up just a little bit. That's why I, I think when I got it, it was like $40 flat. So, but for $43, you have something that looks good, can protect your gear, and uh, it says waterproof and dustproof. I mean, <laughs> it's, it's, I don't know. It's hard to beat that. Uh, but if you're looking for maybe a more affordable version, the all black is like three or four dollars cheaper so i mean like you could still get the same kind of protection save a little bit of money have something a little less flashy if that's what you're into and uh you still protect your gear you get the best of both worlds but if you're looking for something even smaller and more affordable they have one that will fit your camera even those cameras that have the extended batteries at the bottom uh you have those cases are like 13 dollars at my local uh store uh, that was a quick brain for harbor freight uh so i think that those are these are all great options for you to store your gear uh traveling like i said it has the locks on them so tsa can't be jacking your crap uh if you watch if you work for tsa i'm just joking guys don't don't pat me down too hard uh but that's pretty much it for this gear now if you guys know anything that's better or more affordable or something that's on par with apache you know, no matter if it's a 3800 or something smaller, let me know. I think, you know, everybody be interested in saving money, especially during these times. You want to still have a look, but nobody wants to spend a lot of money. I mean, at this point, the bills are almost all the same. So you, it's, it's like comparing a, a Gucci sneaker, sneaker, I'm, I'm country, a Gucci tennis shoe with uh, maybe say like Nike they're all built good you're just paying for brands at the point so i i'm not one of those guys i'm more about what works and what's efficient and this thing gets the job done so that's going to be pretty much it for this video if you found this content to be helpful entertaining or anything go ahead and hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell i'm eric lee you're watching 31 and counting <laughs> we out <laughs>